What's up guys, Jason here for the love of tractors and two things. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you for watching these videos, liking, subscribing, sharing. So if you like what I'm doing and you haven't done those things, I would appreciate it. Second thing is uh, we should do another question and answer video. So send me your questions and answers and, or, well, questions, I guess, and I'll uh, give you some answers. And then, okay, 2B. <laughs> so we're going to do a live chat one of these days. Life is busy right now. It's summertime and things are crazy. It's going to be maybe this weekend, as in uh, like Saturday, the second weekend of June. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to try to get it done pretty quick here. Or at least get one of those things going. Because there was a ton of interest in that. All right. So here is the Case IH. 350 row track quad track authentic so this came out from Ertl a few years ago uh, it was a pretty big hit there's uh, some pluses some minuses we're of course going to talk about those so let's talk trackers y'all <laughs> So this was a highly anticipated tractor when it came out, and it's a pretty cool tractor because it is very well detailed. And I think the first thing we'll do is we'll go through all of that detail. So sort of step one is the door opens, and it also closes, and for some reason it's hanging up here, and I don't know why. It normally closes just fine, but hey, that's what happens when you try to shoot a video. <laughs> anyway, I promise you that closes too. I think it's getting hung up on this flasher beacon. Huh. Well, that's weird. Anyway, anyway, that was a weird thing too. Okay, you get all of your grab rails, and check that out. They're actually like handles, so you could actually put a scale hand in there. They're not just like this solid tab that you get on uh, the non authentic quad tracks. You got the handle there, we got a grab handle back here, we get a decent amount of articulating joint de detail with the cylinders and all of that, and uh, you've got your sight glasses here and your fill there for hydraulics, and the same thing here, ooh, that's a little harder to see, with your fuel and your fuel filler cap. Of course we got the flasher, we got the side work lights, and we have our GPS globe, and mirrors. The mirrors do kind of move and turn and uh, all that good stuff. The hood does raise. It's stiff on this one. I've had others where it is uh, very loose, but it does raise on this one to reveal, I'm going to say, a very nice amount of detail for a 164 scale tractor. So very, very, very well done there. Uh, you can see all the coolers, the charge piping, and all that sort of thing. If we kind of get a frontal view, you can see we've got two toolboxes up front here. I kind of like to take those off when I customize these. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's, if it's uh, your thing, it's your thing. Now, the interesting thing here that we I don't know that we've ever gotten on a tractor before is we get the tow line as well. So that's pretty cool. I thought that was a really nice detail. I put those on a lot of my custom quad tracks as well. So um, that's cool. You don't have to do that if you get this one from Ertl. Uh, nice, nice slender exhaust uh, intake here with the kind of the bigger side exhaust here, but not the, not the giant, you know, 620 <laughs> ridiculous exhaust. Uh, it looks really nice here. Um, coming over to the side. So I've gotten, I don't know, half a dozen of these and customized them over the years. And I'll show you here. Here's what I do with those. I make green ones out of them usually so anyway I set that bad boy over there this is the first one I've ever gotten that just has like this white goop on it and I mean this was new in the box when I got it so I don't know what that is from Ertl but it's gonna hurt us on the quality department I'm pretty sure so <laughs> but you do get your grab handles here and of course your cab grab handles you know the track and bogey wheel detail is nice it's not exceptional but it's nice um, and then uh, moving around to the back, you get a three-point hitch. Now, Ertl, uh, <laughs> Ertl's iffy on their three-point hitches. They usually look too big and chunky. Kind of the same thing here. I mean, that's it's it's more of the same. But at least we get it 
that's that's a you know hey good job the hitch hitch the the draw bar here looks great though and it's got the side holder for your pin and uh, all that and you know it's the realistic draw bar hitch so that's a big plus and I don't know if you can see too well in there because that's all black but you know the hydraulic details and all that are in there on the back we get a really nice metal flasher bar and we get some work lights molded into the um, the frame or into the the casting I guess and then you get the black detail with the orange and red lights for flashers and brake there so cool stuff okay so the downside in typical Ertl fashion it doesn't articulate perfect but it articulates okay so you know it's 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 better this way for sure but this way you got some issues and um you know the big the big thing i saw first check out how pigeon toed that is so that, like i said this is straight out of the box it's not that i've done anything or tried to customize it or anything and we've got this weird pigeon toeing going on, so that's definitely a quality issue. And then with the white stuff that we talked about. So those are marks against it for sure. But other than that, you know, this is metal, that's metal, that's metal, the frame is metal. It's, it's generally well built. And uh, as far as, you know, cast products and things like that. So not going to complain too harsh on that. I think it's pretty well done other than some of the quality issues and like I said I've never had that white issue before and I've actually never had one pigeon toe before and I think like I said I think I've gone through six of these so you know it is what it is I guess so let's give this thing a little bit of a collector score here so value okay these things brand new were like 25 bucks now if you shop hard you can get them for 20 bucks I think that's an exceptional value here. I think it's it's really well done. Um, so, you know, there's a ton of detail there, despite its flaws. You know, and yeah, I'll say it here too. One other thing is, and this is just an Earl thing. Check out the ride height. It's super low. It's actually it's way too low. the The ride height is wrong on these. And if you're gonna customize up one of these right, you really need to pull all that off and raise your ride height up just a hair it's it's like this is kind of like a low rider quad track and they aren't really like that okay sorry got off that with all of that said you get a lot of tractor here a lot of detail and it's a nicely done tractor for the most part i think the value on this at 20 to 25 dollars is a nine i think it's a great buy collectability so okay as i said they're 20 dollars I don't remember when these came out and I could probably read it here on the bottom nope <laughs> this is number five I thought maybe it would tell me a year uh, 14 after looking at the number so it's been out a few years by now um, they're not they're not highly sought after now this is a great 164 scale toy for your model farm or your shelf though so collectability I just it's not something that's going to be out of the park. So I'm going to go with a five on collectability. Detail. I think detail's excellent here. I, I mean, I really think they knocked it out of the park with detail. And I'm going to go with a solid nine. All right, quality. So I got to ding this one pretty hard on quality, I think. The pigeon toe, the white stuff, the lack of articulating, the low rider. All of that stuff. I think quality is pr pr not great. <laughs> and I'm going to go with a 4 on quality. Rarity. Again, I've talked about how rarity and collectability tie in. And, you know, this is another case where this isn't a rare tractor. And it's also not a particularly collectible tractor. So, uh, on the rarer scale, I'm going to go with another 4. I just... just I don't feel like this is ever going to be a highly sought after rare tractor that brings, you know, three figures at auction in the 164 scale wor world. So let's, uh, let's do a little math here. And if I'm doing my math right, I get a total collector score of 31. So that's pretty good, right? I think so. Like that, that's, we've talked about before. That's where a lot of these are going to end up. These uh, more common, uh, but still kind of collector edition. I mean, it's not a collector edition, but, y you know, collectibles, if you will. So versus a regular toy or versus a high-end collectible. 
So I think that's about where this should be, about, about a 31. I think we're good there. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think below. I always like to hear your thoughts on these. Uh, do you like this? Uh, what you know? Are the the flaws too much uh, to overcome the the good stuff that's here, or is it a great tracker? I obviously like it, but I'm kind of a quad track nut. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day and track happy tracker hunting.